Hey everyone! So, week two, kind of week three, ten days in. It's really, I guess, like a week two, two and a half, right? <laughs> so, week one was all about looking back at this year in gratitude, right? This month's about gratitude. Looking back at the things that were super positive. You can also look at the things that are kind of meh, but we're trying to focus on the positive last week, right? So, what happened in your life that was really, really positive? And for me, I really have to say the thing like I'm most proud of this year is the way that I have dealt with a lot of really crappy things that have happened. Um, I feel like for myself, I have really hit a point of um, more self-assurance, more like more peace on the inside and also kind of expressing that more outward and more confidence in a way where it's kind of like I'm feeling more comfortable with who I am. Therefore, I kind of don't really care other people's opinions as much, so on and so forth. So that for me has kind of been one of my like proudest things this year is that I've become more comfortable in who I am. And, you know, part of that is because I have been um, doing some shamanic like practices, living my life in a shamanic way where, you know, I really look at the core of things around me and I understand them and I help myself unwrite some patterns that you know we can get conditioned under by society or our parents or you know relatives whatever so there's things in my life that um, I have learned to kind of peel open get to the nitty-gritty and work through some of them and I'm just kind of more proud of who I am and I just feel like despite all of the uh, negative stuff that's happened <laughs> this year, there's been a lot of positive growth from it. So it really has been a year of balance for me so far. And you guys know, um, you know, my pug passed away and that was one of the hardest things I have ever had to deal with in my life. I mean, I have lost family members. I have had um, quite a bit of loss in my life. Like my family is not as big as um, a lot of people's. And I don't have like all these relatives and siblings around and all those kind of things. So it's very interesting when I look back at my whole life and not just this year about how I have overcome working through like very difficult things. So for me, I'm just like what I really want to express is that I'm proud of how I've developed emotionally throughout the year and my mental status on working through things that can be very, very difficult. We all have something in our life that can be very mentally challenging. So for me, it's just been like really, really nice to um, find that inner peace and be able to make peace with things that kind of suck. Like I said in my last video, you know, sometimes things happen and we are left to just, you know, work the canoe through the rocky waters the best we can. And so, you know, how you work through that really makes a big difference. And that's what I'm the most proud of this year is just some some of the crappy things that have happened have really helped me um, become just a more truer person to myself and more authentic person and um, a happier person. That sounds really weird. I know it's like bad things happen to you, but yet you're happy. It's kind of like I have learned to let go of things more and not want to um, always have to like control everything. And there's such a sense of peace in that. So yeah, that's one of the things I'm most proud of is just, you know, my my progress through pushing through those crappy things in life or bad habits that I've had or, you know, things like that. So this coming week, we want to look at things that we're still holding on to that we want to let go of. And that, you know, it's very, very common. We tend to hold on to stuff all the time that we don't really need. You know, it's it's one of those things that like, I think sometimes we forget that we're holding on to it or there's just that one little like last thorn of something that we're like, okay, I just need to like pick it out, get rid of it and move forward. Um, Alexis, I wanted to say your comment on my last video made a lot of sense and you were saying, um, you know, with the major positives and major neg negatives that have been changing, you don't think it's going to stop with a new year, like just cause the calendar's changing over and, um, you know, I think that is very, very true insight. I'm not going to lie. It's like, I look at it like, you know, there's like, you know, cuts and then there's like deep cuts. You know, there's some cuts that we put a band aid over 
and you know we clean it, put a bandaid over it, we let it heal, and then there's some cuts that cut really deep, and that you know they leave like really deep scars, and they take longer to get over. So yeah, there are definitely <laughs> there's definitely a huge spectrum of things that we go through that don't necessarily stop because a new calendar year has started over. But it's good to take time to like look back and go, you know, can I rip off that Band-Aid? How long have I been holding on to the, you know, how long have I been nurturing this one little thing that, you know, may not necessarily be something you have to worry about anymore? You know, it's like, I kind of forgot the Band-Aid was there, rip it off, everything's healed, you know? We do tend to hold on to some things like, you know, someone, for example, like someone was totally rude to you at work for some reason. And, you know, and it kind of ruins our day or, it, you know, it, it, it you hold on to it because you're like, you know, just kind of, it seems like that one thing just like spoiled the whole day. These are the kind of things I'm talking about where we tend to sometimes hold on to this or we gather up like a bunch, like a squirrel gathering that's like we gather up all these like, I don't know, um, instances where people are rude and then we kind of have this like volcano effect of just like, boom, this person's been mad, like this person's been rude to me for so many times and you just held on to it and held on to it and held on to it until one day you just like kind of, you know, exploded on them and yelled at them or whatever. So, you know, <laughs> we definitely have varying degrees of things that we hold on to and it's good to not take the small stuff into the new year. It's good to, you know, give yourself, of course, the time that you need to heal, but to allow those things that, you know, it's like, like when you're cleaning out a closet, you're like, why do I still have this? You know, donate it, get rid of it, whatever. It's just one of those things It's time to like let go of those little things that sometimes we just wind up holding on to that we don't always realize we're holding on to. The bigger things, you know, those can take who knows how long to heal from and, you know, we're all different emotionally and how we handle things as well. So I think your comment was very, very true. I appreciate that you said that because it, it's very legit. Yeah, we all have things that we're working on that won't necessarily just kind of like disappear <laughs> as 2019 hits us. But what are the things that we can let go of? What are the things that we don't realize we're still holding on to? Or, you know, it's just like that one little thing we can wrap up and just kind of... Um, clear the plate a little more so that when 2019 comes, we can have, you know, open heart, fresh eyes, like, a, you know, a, a like a healthier, cleaner perspective on how to move forward from things. Because, yeah, we don't know what's going to happen. We all are dealing with lots of things on a whole spectrum of like tiny to major. So <laughs> it's just a matter of finding that balance. You know, where are we going to find that balance? We have to be able to work through and appreciate and enjoy all the positives and then, you know, work through and learn from the negatives. So, you know, for me, losing, uh, losing Kuma, you know, the, my pug, it was, um, oh God, it's, it's, it's like, honestly, it's the hardest thing that has happened to me this year. It has been the hardest thing to work through. And, um, like I said earlier, you know, I've had a lot of loss in my life. But through that, it's also helped me open up my heart more and to um, appreciate things more and not take the little things for granted as much. And so um, I'm still like welling up. <laughs> One of those things that doesn't take, you know, it, it takes a long time to, to get over. And um, so, yeah, there's no, there's no judgment there. It's just more or less like, I always try to find that diamond in the rough. I always try to learn that karmic lesson or to um, make the best of a bad situation because you never know. <laughs> you never exactly know what's coming in your future, even if you try to manifest everything the best you can. <laughs> Sometimes we have things that we just have to to wade through and make the best of. So, um, you know, looking back at 2018, let's really just look back at it and you know this week we can look at what we're still holding on to that we can toss out you know even if you want to do that as a physical thing you want to toss out some old clothes or <laughs> I would say do this as a mental and emotional thing to help your 
your um, life feel a little bit more like flowing and in balance. But you can also do that as a way of just like, I'm going to chuck out some old stuff. Sometimes there's that nice symbology of like getting rid of an old coat kind of is like, you know, getting rid of some old, some old junk. So <laughs> yeah. And this is also a great time of year to donate anyway. There's lots of people on the streets that need clothes and so on and so forth. So do whatever your heart tells you is the best thing to do. <laughs> And I will see you guys in uh, video three. And, um, oh, yeah. I'm doing an Enchanted Crystal unboxing today as well. So that'll be up. That'll be up soon. And I think that's it. I love you guys. I am so, so grateful you are here. And I just, I appreciate that you're, you're here you're paying attention, you're following, you're listening. And if I'm helping you in any way, then I know I'm doing my job. <laughs> so lots of love. Bye guys. <laughs>